Revelation 2893. From the 24th of September 1943. Selfish Loving Action. Righteous Walk Before God. Examine yourselves, exercise the strictest criticism of yourselves as to how far you submit to God's commandments and whether your thoughts and actions correspond to the will of God. You must consider one thing, that you do not disregard the divine commandment of love, you must always and constantly make this your guiding principle, that you are active in love in the most unselfish way. You have a task to fulfill on earth, to mature your soul, and you can only do this by leading a way of life which is pleasing to God, thus which fully corresponds to His, will and therefore you have to make an effort to relinquish all selfish love, you have to renounce your own desires and only ever strive to make your fellow human being happy, you have to show him the love Jesus Christ taught you. Pure, selfless love which is also willing to make sacrifices and does not strive for its own advantage. Such love is pleasing to God and will result in your spiritual progress you will fulfill the purpose of your earthly life and receive God's love in return, who can only emanate his love to you if you are active in love yourselves. And this divine love will make you happy, it will replace a thousandfold what you give on earth, what you voluntarily sacrifice to him in order to help your neighbor. And thus you should always try to make yourselves worthy of divine love through a way of life completely in accordance with his will. You do not sacrifice but receive, only that it is other goods which unselfish neighborly love earns you, that it is not earthly goods or pleasures of the world but purely, spiritual good which God now imparts to you. For this alone is true wealth which is everlasting and which you need never ever give away once you have received it. God's love considers your soul and seeks to make it happy and what you receive from his hand is truly far more valuable than what the world can offer you, what you strive for in terms of earthly fulfillment. God's love has no measure and can flow towards you in abundance so that you can already enjoy the bliss on earth which will result from your bond with him, and therefore strive for this bond as long as you are active on earth, for the strength of desire is the measure of its fullness. Live in love, always help and desire nothing for yourselves, take part in every adversity of your fellow human being, try to alleviate it through active help, be the spiritual and physical leader of those who need guidance on earth, make every sacrifice if you thereby accomplish a good work, and selflessly step back if you can improve your fellow human being's situation through it. Live in love, keep the divine commandments and thereby make yourselves worthy to be an aspirant of the kingdom of God, which God has promised to those who love him and prove this love to him through unselfish acts of love for their neighbor. Amen.